Linda, one final thing. You've heard, obviously, about the, the exciting new partnership that Little Musketeers and Katana have had with British Fencing. I mean, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the fact that British Fencing um, has endorsed this programme uh, widespread, it just shows you what a fantastic programme it is. And it's endorsed Katana to be the only platform to work with primary schools. Yeah. And it just shows you what a fantastic programme this is and just reinforces, reiterates everything that we've been talking about in this interview today. Well, that's great to hear, Linda. I think the British fencing relationship will be great for us because if one thing it's definitely going to do is put us closer in touch with those many coaches around the, uh, the country and the clubs um, who are really eager to see those children come through that door, passionate about the sport. And, and I want these clubs to think of us as a feeder system for that. We're not in competition with them, you know. Um, we are a grassroots program and any children that really show a flair and want to continue to a competitive level, um, I'm more than happy to sort of direct them to all the clubs around the country. And I think that can't be um, bad for the sport as a whole for the UK. And I think one thing we need in the UK is more grassroots and more, more kids grassroots, coming through yeah. the system. I mean, uh, so that's something I'm really excited about and hopefully those relationships will be developed further with the clubs. And hopefully we may have an Olympic champion in the future who started their journey at the Little Musketeers and Katana at a very young age. Yeah.